Well, if you are looking to make a sweet treat with a healthy twist, we have just what you need. We have Angelica joining us now from Eat Right Future Bright, and she's going to make a delicious cake for us today. Hey, Angelica, how are you? Hi, Emily. I'm great. Thanks so much for having me today. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We love every recipe you make. It looks always looks delicious. What are you making for us today? Well, this is one of my favorites. It's so simple. It's called the Sart Salted Caramel Cashew Cake. And it's a cake in a mug. So it's so easy. Anyone can customize it however you want. But I love mug dishes because it's single serving. Whether it's an omelet in a mug or a French toast in a mug, it's so easy, my favorite part no cleanup it's just so easy so this one's going to be a banana almond cake we have four ingredients we've got about one large mashed banana if you have a ripe banana this is the perfect recipe then we have one egg three tablespoons of almond flour any kind of flour is going to work whatever you have on hand oat flour whatever you like and then about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and all you're really going to do is you're just going to put it all in the mug right here and mix it up so it's really really easy and like you said that's a great way to use that banana that's sitting on your counter right. getting brown yes and what i love about it, it's customizable add some protein powder cinnamon even some frozen blueberries i mean there's just mm. so many options when it comes to something like this everyone can make it just the way that they like So once this is mixed up here, we're going to just pop it in the microwave for about 90 seconds. It depends on the microwave. So it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, uh, but it's going to come out like a really moist cake, kind of like a bread pudding. So 90 seconds and we'll be ready to go. Okay. Well, it sounds great. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll finish it up. Welcome back to the Virtual Living Dayton Kitchen where we have Angelica from Eat Right Future Bright joining us and she's going to top off her delicious mug cake with a nice a syrup. Is that what you call it? It's You were explaining it to me in the break and it sounds awesome. Well, it is a salted caramel sauce. I call it my magic caramel sauce because it's so easy. It's only three ingredients and it's vegan. It's absolutely a showstopper. And I, I don't just do this for cake in a mug. I would do this on my oatmeal, inside my coffee, cupcakes. I mean, it's just so good on absolutely anything. Yeah, that sounds nice and versatile. So how do we make it? This is really easy. So again, we're going to have two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. That's a great alternative to refined white sugar two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and one tablespoon of almond butter. So really, really easy. And there's two steps to this. So we're gonna combine our maple syrup here and our coconut oil. I already had this heated up, but you're usually gonna microwave that for about one minute to make sure it gets really ooey gooey and caramely. And once that kind of crystallizes, it's gonna be so perfect. And you're gonna add your almond butter. And you're just gonna let that dissolve in there until it becomes a nice caramel sauce. That takes maybe a couple minutes, but it's so worth it, Emily. Huh, see, I would never think to combine those three ingredients, probably because of the different textures. Right, right. Well, when you heat up the coconut oil and the maple syrup, that's when the magic really happens. And I kid you not, you feed this to anybody and they're gonna think it's real caramel sauce. It's not something like a healthier alternative. Wow, that sounds great. So once so, this is combined here, you're almost ready to top everything together. So just like that, it, it's literally the texture of caramel. It's ooey gooey, delicious. And so our toppings here, we're gonna have the caramel sauce, which we'll add to our cake right now. You add that in there and it seeps down kind of to the bottom. It's just so good. So it looks really good and it has that gooey texture. Yes. Oh my gosh. So good. And then we're going to top it with some cashews oh, and those are my some favorite. sea salt. And you are ready to go. Just like that, you have the perfect banana almond cake. And we added our homemade magic caramel sauce and topped with some cashews. Oh my goodness. It looks absolutely delicious. It was so quick. And again, you said, like you said, not a lot of mess. So that's awesome. Right, right. Well, Angelica, thank you so much for your time today. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Emily. Have a great day. You too. Mm -hmm.